Hello and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Easter Eggs, the series where we take a look at some of the latest and not so latest Easter eggs in video games, with the only rule being they cannot have featured on my channel before. In today's video, we find a paper boat by a drain in Modern Warfare, we continue our search for red balloons in video games, this time in Fallout 76, and we scan a QR code in World War Z to see where it takes us. As always, if you think I've missed an Easter egg or you know of an Easter egg that I haven't covered before, then the best place to let me know is in the comment section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Oh, and if you are enjoying this series, then a like is really appreciated. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So first up, let's take another look at Call of Duty Modern Warfare. As you'd expect, since launch, Modern Warfare has received pretty consistent updates, adding fixes, maps, modes and more, and it's one of these new maps that we can find our first easter egg. On the Hovec Sawmill map, you can find this. So whilst mine, and probably your mind, jump straight to a Pennywise reference, after a little thinking, I'm not so sure. The paper boat in 2017's It was called the SS Georgie, so that doesn't quite line up here. There is a character in Call of Duty Strike Team, the mobile game released in 2013, with the name Reed, but why Infinity Ward would reference that game and that character specifically is anyone's guess. To be honest, this one does have me a little stumped, so if you have any theories on this boat's origins, then please let me know in the comments. Up next is another game that is no stranger to this series. It was only recently that we solved the mystery surrounding the balloon on the Gorness level in Doom Eternal. Spoilers, it turns out the cake wasn't a lie. This particular easter egg is actually pretty well hidden because you never actually have to go this way during the level. On the Ark Complex level, you can find this. So this unassuming phone box is anything but. The antenna on top should give you some clue to its origin, but if you're still stumped, this is the same phone box seen in the cult classic Bill and Ted movies. So recently you may have heard me speak of the Holy Trinity, the one game that features an It, Titanic and Back to the Future easter egg. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we may have found it. With the recent Wasteland update, I've been hopping in and out of Fallout 76, and as I've said before, it's far from perfect, but it's miles better now compared to launch. The first of our Easter egg hat trick can be found at the White Spring Golf Club. So if you manage to sneak your way past the ghouls that have infested the golf club, you will find a clown in a refrigerator holding a red balloon. Of course, this is a reference to Pennywise the Clown. The second easter egg can be found at the Summersville Dry Lake. So this is an obvious reference to the now infamous scene in 1998's Titanic where Rose sat all cosy on a door while Jack was left to freeze to death. If you lost count, that's number two on our easter egg bingo card. All we're missing is the Back to the Future reference. To the west of Vault 76, you can find an abandoned shack and this interesting doghouse. So inside the doghouse we can see the periodic table, a chemistry set and an equation written in chalk on the floor. Now I know what you're thinking, how is this a Back to the Future reference? Well, the writing on the floor is actually part of Einstein's theory of relativity. And do you know what the dog's name in Back to the Future is? That's right, it's Big Bird from Sesame Street. No of course not, the dog is in fact called Einstein. Leopold. <laughs> Einstein you little 
Now, I should be over the moon that we found a game with all three easter eggs in it, but the Back to the Future easter egg wasn't the DeLorean, so I'm not sure if it counts. I mean, at least the guys at Bethesda mixed it up a little bit with Einstein's Doghouse. Let me know what you think. Have we done it? Did we complete the holy trinity of eggs, or does our search go on? Let me know in the comments. So recently, this channel has been focusing on teddy bears, mainly the ones found in the Call of Duty series. And yes, I will continue to mention that video simply because I had a lot of fun making it. Well, the bear we can find today may not be as mysterious, but what it lacks in mystery, it more than makes up for in size. Totally Reliable Delivery Service is a game where you must stop the evil wizard Holgar as he attempts to turn every living creature into ash. Okay, it's a game where you deliver parcels, but I had to try and jazz it up somehow. Well, if you happen to get bored of being an entire city's courier, you could take a trip out to sea and encounter this guy. If you manage to land on top of the bear, you can find a lone person who seems to have been up here for a while. Up next is another game that sees you forced into manual labour. This time it's Moving Out. Moving Out is all about helping people move house, but the game has its tongue firmly planted in its cheek. Its sense of humour is apparent almost immediately, as in the tutorial, you can do this. A g -g -g ghost! Slap him out of the way if he gets too close! He was friendly! Who you gonna call? I ain't afraid of no ghost! Don't cross the streams. Hey, save one for me. So there are references to a couple of films here. First, the Hey, He Was Friendly line was almost certainly a nod to Casper the Friendly Ghost. And the others are references to Ghostbusters. There's something very important I forgot to tell you. What? Don't cross the streams. So these next references are from a game that I never expected to feature on this channel. House Flipper is a game where you decorate and redesign homes, with the intention of selling them on. Instead of doing it all at the click of a button, you have to manually paint walls, knock two rooms into one, and buy all of the furniture. I only hopped on to record the easter eggs you're about to see, but I spent over three hours completing odd jobs just so I could improve my office. The first house of interest is the alone home property. With three floors and spacious living areas, it would be ideal for a family gathering the night before you're due to travel. Just make sure you don't leave anyone behind. So, can you guess what house this is meant to be? Yep, it's the McAllister's home from Home Alone. It's pretty cool being able to walk around the home from the movies, and you can even spot some signs of the trouble Harry and Marv caused during their ill-fated break-in. The next house worthy of a mention is the Huxter's house. This property is a much more modest home for a smaller family, so I'd say family chemistry is key here. Whilst the house could do with some work on the inside, the outside of the property is in pretty good shape. Well, apart from the pizza on the garage roof, that can be removed upon request. Okay, I'm going to stop playing as date agent now, despite how fun it is. This is actually the home of the Whites from Breaking Bad, with the pizza on the garage being a reference to this scene. So the final easter egg in today's video revives a meme that I for one hope never dies. For some reason it seems that the World War Z game was slept on, which is a shame as it was damn good fun and does zombie crowds better than any game I've seen. Well, on the third stage of the Jerusalem chapter, if you scan a QR code, this will happen. Mm -hmm. 
So I have to be careful here, I don't want to be copyright claimed after all, but the mystery QR code is in fact a brilliant Rick roll. Well done Sabre Interactive, you got us. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then a like is really appreciated. I would like to thank Annie Banani Mixer for suggesting the House Flipper references. Those were pretty cool. As always, if you think you know of an Easter egg that I've never featured before, then the best place to let me know is in the comments section or on my social media accounts. The links to which are in the description. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.